Hey everybody, welcome back to the XFA Fitness YouTube channel. I am Jeff Hirsch, I am your trainer for today. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, you'll get all the notifications when you hit that bell, let you know when there's a new workout every single time we post one up. And don't forget to check out ripdism.com. That's where you're gonna find all your home workout needs. Get a couple of sets of dumbbells and you will have fitness programs that are gonna last you for a long, long time. Especially in a time like this, world's still pretty much in lockdown. We're trying to get over this thing trying to stay healthy, but we're going to stay positive, keep exercising, keep fit. Let's do it all and enjoy ourselves while we're stuck in this situation, okay? Uh, today's workout is basically a workout that my partner Stu created, and uh, since he can't be here with us, he did this workout um, on his Instagram uh, live the other day, and I liked it so much that I figured, oh, why not bring it to you guys here, okay? Um, so he just sent this to me. I haven't really gone through it that much. I looked, looked it over, checked out a couple of the, you know, most of the moves, so I think I know what I'm doing. If I falter a little bit, excuse me, but I, this is new to me, so I'm going to shoot this uh, the best I can and do the moves the best I can while trying to talk to you guys and coach you through it and giving you a great workout anywhere in the world today. We're not going to use any weights. All we're going to do is just use body weight again. A lot of people don't have equipment, so this workout is going to get you the workout that you want get your cardiovascular burn going, get your legs and your arms and your shoulders and all the whole part of your body, everything's going to be burning. You're going to feel great when this is done. So thank you, Stu, for sending this over. And um, I know this is going to be challenging because Stu likes to create hard workouts. So uh, we're going to do a quick warm up here and uh, we'll get going. Let me just hit my timer. We'll get started. Okay, let's run in place. Today's workout is basically this six rounds, five moves per for around 40 seconds of work. Take a little rest in between each move and then there's a 25 second break after each five move round, all right? Then at the very end, we're gonna have a 12 move ab sequence, okay? The moves will be a little bit shorter, there's gonna be more of them, so your whole body's gonna be worked in this. All right, jumping jacks, let's go. A lot of these moves that we're gonna be doing today are gonna stretch you out while we're warming up, so we don't need a super long warm up today, all right? Let's just get a little bit of the heart rate up, a little bit high here, so we're used to working already. Nice. All right, let's go down, punch down to the floor. Punch down to the floor, okay? Gonna see a lot of jumping today, some plank moves, a lot of core, all right? It's a core-focused workout. Your abs should be burning after this one. Keep going, just punch down, touch that floor each time. Good. Let's go back into plank. Downward dog, pedal out the calves. Very nice. Right foot forward up to the hand. Great, pop it back. Left foot forward, back to the hand. Back into plank, pedal out the calves again. Jump those feet up, sumo, push out on your knees. Get ready here, we got 30 seconds left. First move we're gonna do, palms on the ground, come on up, roll up slowly, it's gonna be a switch jump burpee. All right, so our warm up is pretty much done here. So we're gonna do a switch jump like this. Boom, boom, back in a plank, back up, boom, boom. All right, so get ready. We got 10 seconds and we're gonna work out. It's gonna be about a 35 minute workout, maybe a little longer, just under 40 minutes. We're gonna get you done. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. Jump, jump, down, burpee, up. Switch jump, switch jump, burpee, up. Now if you want to, you can do the push up on the burpee. But we have a lot of push up moves coming. So I'll show you that one if you want to. You can do a full down burpee, come on up, okay? Just like that. So each one of these moves, again, is 40 seconds. And then we have a 10 second break in between, right before we go on to the next one. So I'll do a couple with the push up, a couple without. Still our first move, we're getting warmed up here. Good. Nice. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Up, 10 second break. Four plank punches to a push up. So we're gonna be in plank, punching into a push up. Let's get into plank, ready? Three, two, one. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Hit that push up, come on up. One, two, three, four. Hit that push up, keep going like that. Nice flat back here, okay? Tighten the, the glutes, tighten the quads, hamstrings. Keep that nice flat back, okay? Halfway through the move, let's go, come on. 
Here we go. Four. Push up. You've got to do the push up on your knees. No problem. I'll do like that right now. Ready? Down your knees. Push it up. Come on. So maybe you start out with a couple of full push ups. Then you got to go to the knees. No problem. Break. Ten seconds. Right into a squat hop, alternating floor touch. We're going to squat, touch the floor. Ready? Three, two, one. So squat, squat, floor touch across. Squat, squat, floor touch across. So here, we're engaging the obliques as we reach across. We're staying low in that hop the entire time to burn the legs, glutes, quads, everything here, okay? So this is really core focused. You're hitting everything here, halfway through. Come on, keep going, keep going. This first round's already killer. Thank you, Stu. This is a great workout. We don't have any repeat moves. A lot of variety in here to work the full body, okay? Four, three, two, 10 second break, all right? Alternating curtsy, floor touch, all right? Back and forth, three, two, one. So it's curtsy, boom, okay? Curtsy, boom. So we're giving the heart rate a little bit of a break here, a little heart rest while we're focusing on that lower body isometric hold and we're working on the core while we touch the floor every single time. Boy, this guy Stu knows what he's doing. I should work with him, right? Oh, by the way, I do, ripdism.com. That's where you see us together doing all our stuff, okay? Check it out if you haven't already. If you're already, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. Three, two, one, you know the drill. Rest here, this is our last move. The last move in each round is gonna be a core move. Here we've got bicycle toe touch, ready? Three, two, one, we're on our backs. Bicycle, reach up and touch the toe. Other side, just like that. Bicycle, touch the toe. Bicycle, touch the toe. So the first four moves in each round are gonna be plyometric, cardio-based, core-based moves. This last move in each round is the ab focus move, okay? So you're gonna get a lot of ab work, a lot of core work. You're gonna be sweating, you're gonna feel your heart rate up, and this workout is done, trust me. Five more seconds, like this. come on. Finish it up, then we got a 25 second break. Done. Okay, 25 seconds to rest here. Pop up, let's get ready for that next round. The next thing we're gonna do is a push up, going into an alternating side plank, okay? So follow along, that first move, Heart rate is already up. I forgot to put my watch on today, but uh, I'm about 145 here. What are you? Come on at home. Let's get ready for this next next round. Five seconds left. We're going down in a plank, and we're gonna alternate on that side. Okay, here we go. Push up, alternating side plank. So you went to the left side first, or the right side. Just keep switching. My feet are staggered. That's gonna allow me to get back into that push up position quickly. Keep the heart rate up while building strength and endurance on our chest, shoulders, and triceps here, halfway through the move. Come on, here we go. Bang, try to keep that core tight. Again, flex the glutes and the quads. That'll keep that midsection from bowing out, okay? So keep you nice and tight to that center section. Three, two, break, okay. Three, six, nine, hop, just like a clock. Down low, and we're hopping side, middle, side, middle. Three, two, one, here we go. So three, six, nine, three, six, nine. I guess it depends on which way you're looking at the clock. All right, but that's for me. This is the way it is. So just try to stay low. I've got my hands in prayer. You don't have to do that. You can put them anywhere you want. Okay, so for 40 seconds, you're gonna see keeping your legs bent in this position gonna force a lot of blood down there and it's gonna make your heart work. Keep your heart rate up, burn the fat, build the muscle, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, 10 second break, okay? Next thing we have, sumo. Hold it in sumo position like this. Hold the calves. Like your legs weren't burning enough already. Three, two, one, here we go. So you're in sumo holding it and you're just pulsing the calves. 
All right, people always say, how do you do calf work without any weight? Here you go, all right? This is it. Here's a move that'll make your entire calf area burn without question, all right? We're doing this for 40 seconds. If you feel the burn all the way through the legs, the entire lower body is engaged here and working, okay? Your heels, try to let you, you know, never let your heels touch that floor. You're hovering the whole time. That's it. All right. Boom. Three, two, break. All right. Alternating lunge rotational twist. Follow here. So we're going to lunge and we're going to rotate. Ready? Here we go. Forward lunge, rotation. Come back. Forward lunge, rotation. So here, again, you're focusing on the lower body. And with this rotational twist, you have to engage your core to stay balanced the entire time. Want a nice 90 degree angle on that knee bend, all right? Try to get that back leg nice and straight. There you go, just like that. So again, this move is maybe not as intense with the heart rate high, but you're feeling it on the burn. Stu's mixing everything in here for you, okay? Just giving you a complete workout. Three, two, one, and it's working for me. I'm up, I'm sweating already. Okay, flank, knee to elbow. So we're just gonna be down at flank. I'm gonna bring that knee to the, to the elbow. Three, two, one, just like this, boom, okay? Boom. So you're holding that flank. You're crushing your obliques right now, crushing. But you're also working on your upper body, shoulders, tries, chest, all engaged here. Just like that, just meet that knee to that elbow every single time. Great work. Got about 15 seconds left here. This is the last move in our round. This is our core move. And we got our 25 second break. Boom. Come on. Five, four, three, two, break. Way to go. Feeling it yet? I am. I'm through this shirt already dripping sweat on the ground. Next thing we've got, baseball throw. So basically, it's like a pitcher throw, right? We're gonna split halfway. Throw with your right first and your left second. My left throw will be ugly. Don't get on me about it. This is what it is. Three, two, one. So we're up, throwing the ball, okay? Up, throwing the ball. Up, throwing the ball. Halfway through this, we'll switch to the other side. So you're like a pitcher, right? Snap it up, follow through. Snap it up, follow through. It's a core move, okay? Stretch out at the same time. Three, two, one, other side. Now we're kicking up this leg, following through with the other hand. Boy, I feel awkward doing this, but I know it's work on my body, so I'm happy doing this. I'm right-handed, not left-handed. So uh, enjoy me doing this, all right? Not my most graceful move. Three, two, one, that's over. 10 second break. We're gonna do a peek over the fence. You're gonna be like this, boom. Okay, three, two, one. Hands high, as you come up, bring them up. So what we're doing here is mimicking going up over top of a fence to look over the top. Hey, what are they doing over there, huh? They're a kid trying to get into the sand lot in the pool back in the day, right? Here it is. So what I want you to do, since we don't have any weights, really squeeze those shoulders, those biceps, everything on the way up down. All right, create your own resistance using your own body weight and your own strength, okay? You can just tighten up your muscles and you're gonna see how much they burn. Way to go. Five, four, three, two, 10 second break, squat jacks, okay? You've done them before, just like this, boom, boom. Three, two, one, here we go, boom, boom. Just like that, squatting, jacking down, all right? Again, another lower body extravaganza here. And we're hitting those obliques every single time we go over to the left or to the right. Just like that. Okay. Halfway through the move. Come on. Keep it going. You got to take a break for a second. Go ahead. But then I want you right back in there. Okay. That's it. Keep going. I'm feeling it now. Heart rate's up. Sweat's flying. Three, two, break. All right, 
Now we've got a three pulse lunge for the jump. So we're gonna pulse three times and then we'll jump and do it on the other side. Ready? Three, two, one. So one, two, three pulse jump. One, two, three pulse jump. So we're introducing our plyometrics here while we're working on a body weight lunge pulse. All right, if you do this for 40 seconds, your legs are gonna be burning. There's no question about that. All right, if they're not, pick up some soup cans or something, add some weight to this and you'll feel it. Trust me, you don't even need it. Come on. Five seconds, one, two, three. Keep going, one, finish it out, two, three. 10 second break, V up, we're under our ab move, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. We're going up into a V and we're just gonna hold it here. Can you hold this for 40 seconds? I'm gonna try. I might not be able to. If you have to bend your knees at any point, go ahead and do that. All right, but otherwise keep your knees as straight as you can, legs as straight as you can, and just hold out this isometric burn. Halfway through, come on. This is awesome, Stu. Thank you. You can check out Stu's Instagram, Stu Lapotin, and uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. And uh, you can see him do some of these workouts from his apartment right now. He's doing them for everybody. Three, two, one. And uh, he's doing a weight, great job. Stu manages a uh, fitness facility. And while they're in uh, the clothes or in lockdown, he's doing some classes from home. So you can check those out on his Instagram as well. All right. 10 more seconds in our break. This is our 25 second break. Weighted, sorry, not weighted, sorry, punch jack out and up. So we're gonna punch out and up. Ready? So we're gonna go out and up, out and up. So we're just alternating the punch and the uppercut each time we go out and up. So punch out and up, right? This is a new move for me. Feels a little awkward for me at first, but after 40 seconds, I know I'm gonna feel comfortable. All right? So here, when you throw those punches, really throw them hard, okay? Don't just pretend to throw them, because if you throw them hard, that means you have to engage that core. And while you're working that heart rate high, you're gonna burn and you're gonna get that core engaged and get those nice abs, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. 10 second break, going into our superhero series. Okay, sit so down on your stomach. We're gonna go three, two, one. We're gonna hold like we're flying through the air at first, okay? Change every 10 seconds. Three, two, one, little bit of a break. Coming up now, arms back, all right? Just like that, so try to get the legs off the ground and your arms are moving forward and back. Break, now, arms behind you. Up, Iron Man time. Fly it through the air, head up, legs off the ground. Stop, and we're going back. Whoops, I just spilled my water. We're going back to the superhero, okay? Flying through the air, just like that. Good thing I got a rubber mat here. Break, okay. 10 seconds, reverse lunge, hop on the left hand side. So three, two, one, left leg back, jump it up. Left leg back, jump it up. Here we go. Boom, boom, we'll switch halfway through this one, okay? Boom, boom, and other side. Boom, boom. I might have switched a little early. We're gonna go back again, okay? My timer was off there. Don't worry about it, though. Okay, back to the left side now. Boom, that's it. Just step back, hop it up every single time. Looks like I'm not gonna be drinking any water during this workout, unless I wanna lap it up off the floor. Probably not a great idea right now with what's going on in the world, okay? Three, two, one, 10 second break. Now we've got our sumo side crunch. Just like that, just like that. Alternating, three, two, one, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay, so we're just bringing that knee to that elbow every single time. Awesome, way to go. That's it. Halfway through, come on. Really engage those obliques. 
Think about it every time. Bring that knee and that elbow together. 10 seconds, come on. Keep going. Come on, this more okay. It's moving fast. I love it. Three, two, one, we got our break. All right, only 10 seconds. We're doing cross mountains, four of those down in plank. Then we're gonna do four kick outs. Ready? Three, two, one. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Kick it out. One, two, three, four. Cross it again. One, two, three, four. And kick it out. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And then this is our ab move. Okay. Boom. Boom. You don't have to be laying down to do abs. You can be in plank too. All right. Full core engagement here. Five seconds. One, two, three. Got our break. 25 seconds. All right. Great work. All right. We've gone through 19 minutes of this workout. A little bit more actually. About halfway through. Next thing we're doing. We're doing a jab, cross, hook, uppercut. All right. We're in a squat position. So same squat. Three, two, one. We're gonna go jab, cross, hook it out, then uppercut. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, engage your core while you're doing this, all right? Don't just flail around. I want you solid in the middle. I don't want those punches landing like they're real, okay? And while you're holding this squat position, you know those legs are gonna be on fire. No question about that. Full body workout here. That's what you're getting. XFA Fitness Channel. Come on. Give me five more seconds here. Hardcore. Three, two, one. Nice work. 10 seconds. Let's get down on the floor and do some dips, all right? Simple old school, but it works for a reason. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we're up. We're just dipping down, bridging up. Dipping down, bridging up. So we're going to get a nice stretch and the shoulders on the way up while we're working the triceps. Try to get that bridge flat every time. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings. When you get to the top, engage everything. Sorry, halfway to the move. Boom, boom. Come on, keep going. I know those triceps are burning out. If you feel like it's too easy, lift your fingers off the floor. Then you'll find out how hard it really is. All right, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Focus that energy into the back of the palm. And that's gonna shoot right up into those triceps. Three, two, one, break. 10 seconds. Squat, hop, to ski. Slalom, okay? So we're gonna squat side to side and go back in the slalom. Here we go, ready? Squat, hop, squat, hop. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Squat, hop, squat, hop. One, two, three, four. Come on. Squat, hop, squat, hop. One, two, three, four. Come on. Boom. Boom. One, two, three, four. Boom. Boom. And one, two, three, four. So you're staying low the whole time. Okay? And then feet apart and then feet together on these hops. Three, two, one. Got you 10 seconds. That's all we got. Prisoner, squat. Kicking it out, alternating. Three, two, one. So down, kick. Down, kick. All right? As you come up to kick, I want you to try to stay low. I know you're gonna come up a little bit. But try to stay as low as you can. Do a little bit of that mini squat in there in between each one. Try to kick high and kick with the heel going out. All right, that's gonna get it done. Gonna work those lower abs for you while accelerating your heart rate, burning fat, and you're sculpting your legs, and you're stretching your shoulders, all in one move here. Come on, five, four, three, two, time. 10 seconds, squatting, alternating side leg raise. Follow me, ready? Three, two, so I'm gonna do a squat, we're gonna raise the side leg, squat down, Raise it up, squat down, raise it up. All right, hip flexors, 
gates here are gonna be on fire. All right. And this again is another standing ab move. Okay. Not necessarily a traditional ab move, but one that certainly will work your core while firing up your lower body at the same time. Come on. Come on, 10 more seconds like this. Let's go. That's it. Good speed, good control. Three, two, one. 25 second break. Loving this workout, too. Loving it, really. Thank you so much. Next thing we got is speed skaters. Done these before. Lots of different workouts. Back and forth. Okay. Side to side. Try to get as low as you can. Touch the floor if it's possible. Not, bend the knee, go as low as you can go. Let's do this, come on, fire it up. Three, two, one, here we go. Side, bend that leg, touch the floor. Other way, up to the side, here we go. Nice and in control. The heart rate acceleration is gonna happen on this, no matter if you move fast or slow. If you go faster, you know, you'll pick up the heart rate faster. But by the end of this 40 seconds, you're gonna feel it regardless, so I'd rather have you in control here and really focus on getting low and touching the ground. So control over speed on this move, okay? 10 more seconds, here we go. Excellent. Just jump in the space that you have, okay? Keep going, three, two, break. 10 seconds, come on. Bear crawl. I'm going to the end here. Going forward and back. You've probably done this with us before. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna crawl up a little bit. We'll curl back a little bit. Try to keep that back flat. Notice I'm not up in the air like this, right? Stand down. Trying to keep that back as flat as I can. That means you gotta bend the knees, bend the elbows a little bit, stay low. So everything's engaged in this move the entire way, up and down. Upper body, lower body, working in perfect synchronicity. All right? Why do you think bears are so strong? They gotta walk around like this all day long. You'd be that strong too. You walk like this. <laughs> okay, five more. Let's go. Five more seconds. Three, two, ten second break. Okay. Broad jump. Jogging back. We'll go back here again. We're gonna jump forward. Three, two, one. So, we're going a long jump. And we're gonna go back. Pedal back. Okay. Jump it forward. Touch. Pedal back. That's it. Jump it forward. Pedal back. Come on. Jump it forward. Pedal back. There we go. Nice. Come on, we're halfway through the move. Let's keep firing it out. I know those legs are burning. I know that heart rate's up. I know you're feeling it now. Just keep going. Three, two, one, and second break. Bunny hop to cross country run, okay? Follow me here on this one. Three, two, one, stay low. One, two, little hop. Three, four, five, six, cross country one. Two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. One, three, four, little hop. And then really extend six and six on these, okay? Three, four, six, two, three. There we go. And one, two, four, five, six, and that's it. Five more seconds. Finish it out with these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got your break. Right on time. Okay. Bouncing side crunch. Turn the left hand side first. I've never been good at this move. I'm going to try it though. Ready? Prisoner position. Here we go. Boom. Boom. So you're doing a little bit of a hop, and every time you hop, you're bringing that left knee up. A little bit of a dance move here. Stu's mother's a dance teacher, so he's got the genes for this one. I don't. All right, I can't dance for anything. Three, two, one. I always wanted to be really good at break dancing, but it's a little late for that. So I'll stick to this. All right, come on. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. That was our ab move. Standing abs, okay? 25 seconds left in this break. 
and we're going into our abs, okay? This is our ab run. We finished the regular workout. Now we have our 12 ab moves in a row. These moves are gonna last for 30 seconds, and then 10 seconds of a break in between them, we'll get right back into it. Three, two, one. So crunch it up, and then I want you to heel tap it out. Crunch it up, in and out, tap the heel. Okay, we're gonna start out kind of with a warm-up move here. Get your abs used to working like they haven't been already. But this move is not the hardest move in our sequence by far, but it's a great warm-up move for your abs. And it's still gonna work in regardless. Three, two, one, 10 second break. Now we're gonna do a sit up to a V up. So just what we did, sit up, and we're gonna take it to the next level and go to a V up. Come on, follow me along here, ready? Three, two, one, so sit up, roll it back, and pop it into a V up. Okay, hard move, back, sit up, and then right into a V up, nice. Sit up, roll it back, pop into that V up. Sit up, right into that V up, nice. Sit up, roll it back, pop into that V up. That's it, five more seconds. Last one, hold it three, two, one, 10 second break. Here we go, chest up, okay? And we're gonna do scissors. So you're sitting up tall, scissoring the legs back and forth. So 30 seconds like this, okay? Put your hands on the floor if you want. Put them up here. Wanna make it harder for yourself, more balance. But what I want you thinking about here are those lower abs because that's what you're hitting right here, okay? That's the main focus on this particular move. Halfway through, come on. Keep going, scissoring back and forth. You gotta put your hands back down, no problem. Otherwise, I want you up here with the balance. Five more seconds, come on. Four, three, two, break. 10 seconds, downward dog. We're gonna alternate the leg raise. Go back to plank, ready? Three, two, one. We're in downward dog, raise the leg, back to plank. Downward dog, raise the leg, back to plank, okay? This is an ab move too. You don't have to do all your ab moves on your back. It's not necessarily all about crunches. While they're effective, we like to vary things up too, okay? So downward dog into plank. That's gonna get the abs working. Full core engagement on this, all right? Three, two, one, 10 second break. X crunch. Oh boy, this move's hard. I want you back, laying on your back. X position like this, and we're coming up in three, two, one. Touch the inside of that foot every time. Just like that, all right? You're shooting back, coming up, touch the inside of that foot. Nice. We only got a few more minutes in this workout. You wanna say thank you again to Stu for creating this, passing it on to me, so I can give it to you guys, all right? Well, he can't necessarily shoot here to the channel during this time, He'll be back soon enough, don't worry. Three, two, one, 10 second break. Two pulse, bicycle, okay? So we're gonna be bicycle, bicycle, crunch, follow me. Here's our knees right here. Three, two, one, so bicycle, go back and bicycle then. Other side, boom, two. Take that one leg out, double pulse into the other one. You're gonna feel this in the obliques for sure. Boom, boom, okay, elbow to knee every time, come on. Halfway through, come on. Keep going, I know this is burning. It's burning for me. I know it's burning for you guys too. We're almost through the workout though. A couple more minutes left. You're gonna be thankful when you're done. Break, okay? Because you're gonna have been worked hard for this entire time. And that's it, you gave it your all and that's all that matters. Side crunch on the left, okay? Get on your left side, pop it up. Here we go, just like this, boom. Boom, all right, that's it. You're just doing, popping up on each side. You put the hand on your hip if you want, you keep it on your side. You can put it up in the air if you want, make it a little bit harder for yourself. My feet are stacked here. If you want to stagger them, that'll make it a little bit easier for you, okay? I'll see you stay here, we got five seconds left. Three, two, what do you think we're gonna do now? We'll switch it over, go to our right side. So, I got my right arm on the floor. Three, two, pop it up, go. 
like that. Nice. All right, I got my hand on my hip. Start. I'm gonna put it up in the air. A little bit more work here. Come on. Halfway through. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing. Come on. I know those shoulders are burning on this move. I know those obliques are burning. That's the point. We're getting it done. Four, three, two, 10 second break. Come on. Here we go. Straight leg crisscross. This one's gonna hurt. So I want your chest up, feet out straight, crisscross, ready and go. Just like this. I remember this move from Riptism One ab workout called the washboard. It was towards the end of the workout, just like it is now, and burns every single time. Okay, this is a killer move. For me, this is not one that's one of my better moves. I can do some moves forever. This one, I don't know, for some reason it hurts me every single time. But that's okay, I'm pushing through. Three, two, one, break. Extended plank hold, okay? We're gonna be in plank, and we're just gonna hold it out just like this. Three, two, one. So your arms are out in front of you like this. Now here's a move that I remember from Riptism Washboard 2. A little bit uh, stepped up version of the original washboard, a little bit longer moves in that one, more moves involved in it. That's your level two abs, okay? Check that out. Come on, eight seconds left, come on. Five, four, three, two, break. Okay. Upright bicycle. So you're sitting upright and you're gonna be bicycling in and out just like this, okay? Three, two, one. So we're seated up, back and forth, just like that. All right, so you're hitting bicycle from a different angle now than you were before. You're gonna find more upper core engagement on this as well as lower core when you're kicking out in your traditional bicycle where you're laying down, all right? 10 more seconds like this, come on, come on. I think we got one move left after this and then we got our cool down, so give it all you got now. Three, two, break, okay? Last move, this is it. You made it to the end. Standard Russian twist. I want those feet off the ground, knees bent, side to side, go. One, two, just like that, for 30 seconds. This is a great way to close out a workout, any workout, especially when you're doing abs, at the end, this will get it done. All right, so just side to side. If for some reason you can't hold your feet up the entire time, go ahead and put those heels down on the ground, but otherwise we want you up here with us. I'm going, 10 more seconds, come on. Keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's a workout. Awesome, awesome. Once again, thank you to my uh, partner in crime, business partner, workout partner, Stu. You killed this workout for us, man. Thank you so much for giving it to us so that everybody on our channel and everybody around the world can enjoy this, all right? Let's do a quick pull down. Let's go down, left hand on the ground, right hand up. Feel that core stretch out, all right? Come back, right hand on the ground, left hand up, switch it. Nice. Let's go back into plank, upward dog. Let's stretch out that core, because that definitely is burning right now. I know that. After that last sequence, holy moly, 12 moves in a row. Crazy. Okay, back. Child pose. Nice work. Jump it up. Sumo, push it out. Legs are burning today, I know. We went after that full body workout. Not a weight in sight, but we got work. Look at the sweat dripping off me. I'm, I'm totally finished here. All right, let's roll up slowly. Okay. Windmill that right arm back. Okay. Windmill that left arm back. Good. Now give me some huggers side to side. Just like that. Okay. Now, up and down. Up and down with the arms. All right. That's it. You guys did a great job today. Thanks for sticking with us to the end. Ballistic bounce here. Stretch it all out. So once again, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe now and get those notifications as to when we come out with new workouts. We try to bring them to you as often as we can, all right? So we're doing our best to do that. And again, if you wanna support us, you wanna see more of this stuff, the reason we can bring it to you on YouTube 
and then you get to see the real deal on ripdism.com, okay? That's where you're gonna find all the programs, diet, nutrition, all the uh, blog information, special custom bonus workouts that we do on there for you guys and everything. So please support us on there. And um, especially in this time, we know you need a lot of great home workouts. If you got a couple of sets of dumbbells at home, you can do our Riptism program, okay? And we even have Riptism Raw on there, which is a body weight only program. So if you're stuck at home with literally no equipment, you can do Riptism Raw in a six by six foot space, and you will have an amazing workout every single time. So thank you so much again. I hope to see you guys back here very soon. And I want you to stay healthy. I want you to stay positive. We will get through this. We will survive and we will endure and be fit when we're done, all right? So thanks again, and I will see you very soon.